2, this is Shepard bringing you another walkthrough of Dark Souls. Now that we have fucking killed these, the Scalis, we're gonna kill Sif the Great Grey Wolf, the fucking Amaterasu from Okami ripoff, you know? Uh, yep, he's a fucking ripoff. So I went to kill him, but since I explored the whole area, I got killed by him. He's not hard, you just need a really powerful weapon. So here I play Mr. Beans and I decide to get my Black Knight Sword, I think it's called. I'm not so sure, let me see. That it has like a 400 attack. When I use it both handed. So pretty much we are going to own him. Sadly, I had to record this. Without me talking and you know, doing a live commentary because it was kind of hard dealing with the wolf and fighting him and talking at the same time. Because he's not hard, he's just annoying. He, he tends to jump around a lot. It's horrible, especially since the camera gets all fucking bitchy. So, to get to him, you first gotta have 20,000 souls. Go to the blacksmith that I just went, and you gotta buy um, an item. I, I don't think I don't know how it's called. I think I show you guys here. You gotta buy it worth twenty thousand souls. You get it, and you go to the door that is sealed by a contraption, and you'll be able to open it. Now I don't recommend you exploring it. Like, as soon as you get inside it, because I didn't find any interesting loot, nothing at all. Now, I did find visible knights and a lot of spellcaster and annoying enemies that will fuck you up the, you know, if you go unprepared. So, yes. So, what? Even if that's the item I was talking to you about. The Crest of Astoria, I think it's called. You need to get that to open that door. I already opened it, I told you. Okay, before getting to the boss, you need to use a spear if you wanna... Like... Don't waste so much of your Estus Flax or... Your healing spells. So, first you encounter this guy over here. He cheats spells, really powerful. You wanna take him out ASAP and use the backstab. It's the best way. Obviously, don't get so far. If he goes like back, don't follow him because you're gonna encounter an invisible knight with a, I think a heavy sword. Not so sure. And it deals a lot of damage, and especially since you can unlock him with your aim, it becomes really difficult to kill. There's I'm talking about. That's an invisible enemy there. You're, they're visible, but I call me kind of like invisible because I cannot, I can barely see them. They're, that's that one is a real bitch because he loves the backstab. So here I kind of got, you know, a little bit scared. I didn't want to die. So like, what you're gonna do is lure them to the door and take them out there since they will not pass from there. Unless you piss them off, of course. <clears throat> a good technique would be like I did here, like you them out and don't try parrying because for some reason it didn't work. For me, I mean I was kinda of pissed. There we go, I mean I like fuck you. But yeah, you're gonna come to this bastard, he's free and easy, just backstab. Of course don't let him run away from you because he will reheal or recover himself. And that's something you don't wanna you don't wanna face. And his spell can heal others surrounding him, so the other dude will go nearby him. And you don't want that. You wanna take out the invisible one first, because he's the one that does the most damage. If you can push him down there, it will be easier. They don't drop any loot, sadly. So yeah, pretty much just kill one of them ASAP and kill the other one quick. These are annoying. It would be neat if you could use that as a spell for yourself, that would be interesting. 
but the thing would be that if they put it available for for PvP now, that would be bullshit. Let's just hope that we don't do. So yeah. So you must be wondering why did I kill the Scaleless with help? I was getting brushed my my mom because I had to go to a doctor to check my knee. Because I think uh, they might need to operate me. I heard it really bad when I fall off the stairs in school, so I don't know. So sadly I had to do it, because it could have easily taken me like 10 minutes to kill myself, and it took like 5. Or it could take more than 10. So yeah, so after you kill that guy, there's no more enemies to kill, so you're gonna get the most powerful weapon you have. Uh, in my case it was the Black Knight Sword. How did I get it? Well, getting a Black Knight with a sword. For some reason I, I like seeing that in my first night character I parry one and I got his shield. I backstab him and I got his uh, what you call it uh, uh Halberd no Halberd no War Side which is powerful as hell but I can use it and when I kill him with a sword he gave me a sword so it's kinda weird. I guess that you kill an enemy in each way that will give you something. So yes. Let's see. So now you're gonna come to some weird cute mushroom thingies around here. I don't I didn't kill them because they did nothing to me. And I like didn't want it to waste time, you know, I don't kill things that don't hurt me in the game. You know, it can be quite dangerous. Sometimes the most stupid thing can be the most dangerous. So yeah, so pretty much you're gonna see the fog there. Obviously, you're gonna you're not gonna see the fog. You're just gonna see a closed door. So you're just going to drop over here. You're gonna go forward, open the door, and you're gonna enter and you're gonna encounter the gray wolf. So the first thing you wanna do when you encounter him is get close to the fog, because you're gonna um, trap him in a corner so you can kill him quick. He will not be able to move so fluidly as in the middle. If you let him in the middle, if you fight him in the middle, it's gonna be really hard. Oh, look at that. Big rip off. So, yeah. You're gonna put him in that corner. That's the best place I could find. It was completely easy for me to kill him. And still, I got hit like two times. Because it is, he has a really powerful attack. And I cannot use a really good shield because sadly all the best shields I need a lot of strength and I cannot unbalance my character. So I don't recommend like what I did there that when he attacks me I like roll in front or roll forward. I don't recommend it because there are times that you're going to fail because sometimes there's like an inevitable hit and it's gonna deplete like there, there you go, that's what I'm talking about. You really need all your health. So, it's, you can't do it all the time, it's just a matter of good timing. But I sadly kinda like, was so like nervous to do that. I lost my timing. You can use your shield, but I don't recommend using it in more than twice it. And if you have a really powerful weapon, I recommend that using it well both handed. And if you wanna kill him quick without getting hit, just get beneath him. He's really easy. Man. Obviously I hate the fact that he jumps around a lot and the camera just goes the search. It was really annoying for me. So as I was saying, get in the corner in that area, do not move anywhere. There I was kinda of like rushing him. Cause I wanted to see like there you go. See, I was like trying to get him back to the corner. He was going to go behind you for some reason. You get him there. And now I kill him really. <laughs> Extremely epic. 1000 of damage. That is so bitch. I hate this boss. And that's it, man. He's not a hard boss. He's probably one of the most easiest, yet the most annoying one that I faced. Because he jumps a lot and it's quite asphyxiating for me.
especially since the camera moves and wobbles a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you got that this video helped you guys. Not it's not a uh, so like epic. The strategy is pretty simple, but I like the best way, you know. You're finding him alone, of course. Oh, you're gonna find that we really live there. Exactly. Ooh, the rain. What is that? So I haven't played the game for like four days. So I'm like taking a rest. Because I'm pretty stuck in a really bad area. I won't spoil anything. But yeah. So yeah, uh, soon I'll talk up to you guys about uh, further changes in my channel. I'm gonna keep doing different things to entertain you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do maybe movie reviews. I'll talk about it in a different video. So yes. Hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, rate, us, uh, blah, blah, blah. comment, rate, and subscribe. Leave a feedback. Hope you guys enjoyed. I repeat it again. And see you next time. And peace.